Hi, I'm Casey Johnson. I'm a fourth grade math teacher, and today we're talking about long division methods for elementary school. I'm going to show you three different ways you can do long division. Uh, one's probably one that you recognize. The other two might be unfamiliar to you. Let me start with the one that you recognize, or that you probably recognize. 463 divided by 5 is the problem I'm going to solve. Now, this is the traditional or the standard algorithm. I'd ask myself, how many fives can I take out of four? Well, I can't take any, so I'll go ahead and go to the 46. How many fives can I take out of 46? I can take nine. Nine fives, or nine times five, is 45. Take those out, I have one left. Bring this three down. How many fives can I take out of that 13? I can take two. Two fives is 10. Take those out, I have three left. I don't have anything left to bring down, so that three becomes my remainder. Now let me show you a couple of other ways. 463 divided by 5. Now I call this one short division. It's the exact same process as the other, it's just less space. How many fives can I take out of 4? None. How many fives can I take out of 46? I can take 9. Now that's 45, so there will be 1 left. And I'm just going to write a little 1 right there. Now how many fives can I take out of 13? I can take 2. Two fives is 10, so I have three left. There's nothing left over here, so that three becomes my remainder. You can see how this would be quite handy. It doesn't take up a lot of space. It's actually a little faster, but students need to know the other way before they can do this. Now, let me show you this third way. I really like teaching this way to my students. It helps them understand exactly what they're doing when they divide. And I call it the hangman method. And the reason is that it looks like I'm playing hangman. I draw a line over here, and I'm going to ask, how many fives can I take out of 463? Now, I know I can't quite take 100 fives, so why don't I take 50 fives? So I'm going to write 50 times 5. That's 250. I'll take those out. I have 213 left. Well, it looks like I can take, I can't take 50 fives, so why don't I try 40 fives? 40 fives is 200, and I have 13 left now. So I can take two more fives. That leaves me, that gives me 10, with three left over. And I can't take any more fives out of that three, so that's going to be my remainder. So I've got 50 fives here, and 40 fives here, and two here, that's 92 fives and I had three left over, so remainder three. So that's three ways that students can use long division, and I hope that was helpful, thanks.